in addition to our notion of expressions being equivalent, we also have a notion of equations being equivalent. Now, remember what we said about equivalent expressions. We said that two expressions are equivalent if they represent the same number, no matter what the variables represent. What does it mean for two equations to be equivalent? Remember, an equation doesn't represent a number. An equation represents a statement about the variable. So what does that mean? An equation tells us that our variable x has some property. For example, the equation 2x plus 3 equals 7 makes the statement x represents a number that, if we multiply it by 2 and add 3, gives 7. Now, if we think about that a little bit, you know, what number is that? The number that if we multiply it by 2 and add 3 gives 7? Maybe with a little bit of trial and error we can guess. That's 2. So that means if we just wrote x equals 2, we would be describing exactly the same number. That's what we're getting at with equivalent equations. To say specifically what it is we mean, we say that two equations are equivalent if they have exactly the same solutions. So that means that when we talk about solving an equation, when we're looking for exactly the solutions to the equation, well, we can describe our goal more specifically. When we set out to solve an equation that we know has exactly one solution, our goal is really to find an equivalent equation that has the form that's just x equals a number, or if the variable has a name other than x, the variable equals a number. Notice that this is very different than our goal when we simplify an expression. When we simplify an expression, our goal is to write an equivalent expression. That is, the number that the expression itself represents does not change. On the other hand, when we solve an equation, our goal is to write an equivalent equation. That means that the values that the variable represents doesn't change, but the values of the two expressions on either side of the equation probably do. That distinction is important because there are two kinds of manipulations that we do in algebra. There are simplifying steps and there are solving steps. In a simplifying step, the value of the expression does not change. In a solving step, the values of, an, of the individual expressions you're operating on typically do change, but the solutions to the equation do not. All of the moves that we've learned so far are simplifying steps. We've learned to rewrite subtraction as adding the opposite. That's just the additive inverse property at work. Rewrite division as multiplying by the reciprocal. That's the multiplicative inverse property at work. We can use the distributive property to remove parentheses. Obviously, that's the distributive property at work. And finally, we can reorder terms and combine like terms. Reordering terms, that's the commutative property at work. And combining like terms is the distributive property at work again. So those are all simplifying steps. Those are all things that we can do without changing the value of an expression. The steps that we're about to learn in the next two videos are solving steps. They do change the values of individual expressions, but do not change the solutions of equations.